Smallens Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society. By Mackenzie Faulkner, while the many scorers uh, of the goals this afternoon here against Beasley, just give us your assessment to today's uh, performance. Yeah, pretty much um, a game of two halves with the weather. Um, we know it would be like that. Um, we know that they make it difficult for the first half with, like I say, us kicking up the bank and, and the weather um, as it was. But yeah, um, second half, we carried on doing the things that we, we were good at, putting the ball in the right areas, a little bit of quality and, and that shone through at the end, really. Yeah. As a team, you could have had another cricket score this afternoon with the amount of chances. Did it feel as that game was getting towards half-time and second first 10 minutes of that second half that it was going to be one of those where you just squeeze through with a 1-0 victory or a 2-0? Um, I, I, I kind of think it's one of them where we as a team, we believe if we do the right things, we continue to do the right things. Chances and, and, and goals will come, whether um, the gaffer always says whether we're 4-0 up in the first five minutes or we, it's 0-0 in the 90th minute. If we still keep doing the right things, doing what we know has got us in this position, ultimately the result will look after itself and today that, that happened. Stalk us through your goal, uh, the third one for the uh, afternoon it was. Yeah, so um, I'd gone up for the corner and I think it had gone to the back post um, and I'd backed, I think it was Hampton or Chadders to, to head it back across and, and they did that and it just bounced in front of me. Then I um, struck it cleanly with my left foot into the goal, really. Couldn't miss mine, but um, yeah, it's a tidy little finish and something I'm proud of. Second of the season as well must be pleasing as a centre-back. Yeah, considering that both goals have probably got a combined distance of about 10 centimetres but yeah um, pleased pleased to get on the school sheet with obviously not starting and stuff like that so yeah I'm happy just to help the team really. Five points clean out the top of the table it's getting ever closer that championship what's the mood in the dressing room like? Yeah it's it's good um, for obvious reasons but we kind of we're kind quite solid in the fact that we know it's not done yet and um, yes we are we are favourites we are we are in in charge it is our responsibility but it's a it's a case of we've still got a job to do and we've got to do that well we go on Tuesday um, and hopefully we can get it done then and if not we've got to go on Saturday and, and get it done then but yeah we're, we're, we're confident we're, but we're calm as well we know what's got to happen so yeah How important are the fans going to be in these last two games over a thousand again here at the Claric Stadium for a Saturday afternoon of a, in a league that's five divisions below the Football League <laughs> and, and it is that and I know they didn't bring many today so it is a thousand um, plus of, of our fans that are there cheering us on um, and they had to be patient like I say the first half we, we knew that it would be difficult with the win but watching on as a, as a spectator you, you might not appreciate that you might might have seen their results the other day and you might have seen their um, our result um, on Wednesday and think oh it's, it's going to be a cricket score again but no they've got every right as us um, to be in the game and, and the fans were patient and by the end like you say the support uh, behind the goal was re really positive and helpful Just sum up this season for Conkton because it has been really fantastic scoring goals the fun unbeat, unbeaten here at the Claret Stadium in the league unbeaten in the league uh, for the last 16 games it must be a happy place here Yeah it is um, it is that, that there's, a, there's a great buzz around the place that everyone keeps saying but, but that, that is true but I think that we've got to um, pat ourselves on the back a little bit in regards to the standard because we're only, as of today, five points clear. So if we did drop below that standard at any point, then we're looking at a playoff place and we're still we're still in that mix. So yeah, we've got to um, look at ourselves and, and say well done for what we're doing. But like I say, the job's not uh, not done yet. And you've also got a cup final at Walsall FC's Best Scott Stadium to look forward to in the start of May. Yeah, um, something that we are looking forward to. Like I say, everyone wants to be involved in cup finals. We've been, we've been telling the young lads that um, these seasons like this don't come around every so often, but obviously last year. But yeah, we've got another cup final. Um, but at the moment, I'll be honest, that's in the back of our minds. Um, we've got to go again Tuesday, go again Saturday, and um, then ultimately we'll, we'll see where we're at come the end of the season. Hopefully when we speak to you this time, next Saturday you'll have had a, a medal put around your neck that says champions and Darren Chadwick's got a trophy in his hands. Yeah, fingers crossed. Like I say, that's the aim. Hopefully we can get it done Tuesday, but if not, we've got the confidence, we've got the belief that, like I say, we can go on Saturday and do it then. Yeah,